So that means running out of stamina on Liberty Mutual is not a death sentence by any means. Just walk until you, he gets back and then keep on running. I really like this mount, you guys, for that reason. He just keeps trying to sell me insurance, and, uh, you know, that does get a little irritating after a while, but what can you do? Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to build the alteration bench uh, to make the mods. I believe I have enough stuff to do that now, so I uh, have a little bit more copper that we pulled out of the drill in the last episode, and that'll allow us to make up to 14 electronics. We need 10 to make the bench, so that should be enough to handle that. And then we have to figure out where we're going to put the bench. I also have three points to spend. What I think I'm going to do with those points is we are going to go to Tier 1, and we're going to learn uh, Tier 1, maybe Tier 2. We're looking for the poison paste stuff because we need it as a prerequisite to make the poison medicine. Does this, does water bombs help the throne device for firefighting? Hmm. I wonder how effective these are. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've tried these water bombs and if they are effective in putting out forest fires. Oh, you know, we should probably get the short range radio too if we want to start doing some missions, which I would like to at least see what the missions are like in open world mode. Now here we go, poison paste. But let's focus on the poison paste first. So we need the poison paste. And we need... Um, what, what I want to do, if we go over to here... So I want to make the anti-poison pill, but in order to make this, we need to make anti-poison tonic and poison paste. So um, I think we need to learn the tonic next, which also I believe is tier two. Yeah, so let's learn that. And um, now we should be able to make this. We just need to make the poison paste first, and we need some fiber. So let's grab some fiber out of here. We'll get a couple of stacks of that, put it in this guy. I am planning on making the chemistry bench too, which I'm assuming will probably take over for the herbalism bench. And what do we got? Uh, just a normal storm. Okay. Not too bad, but uh, well, it'll probably be done before we're ready to leave anyways. So let's see. And a poison tonic. Okay, now we need to make the poison paste. And we probably do that in here, don't we? In this mortar and pestle. Yes, okay, so we need sulfur and spoiled meat. Um, I have a stack of spoiled meat in there, and we should have sulfur in here. Whoops. Let's see how much we can make with these two stacks. Max, 50. Okay, so we'll make 50 of these. Um, let's make, let's get a couple right now, so we can go over here and make this and then when those are done we'll take them over to the kitchen bench and we'll make the poison pills and then uh, I'll have I'll, I'll carry a few more than just two but I want to get two going right now and what these will do not only will they cure poison but the, I believe they make us immune to poison too while they're active uh, so it's gonna be really good for especially when we're doing caves um, or if we if we get poison, can we get poisoned by scorpions? We should be able to. I don't remember for sure if we do, but, you know, we're going to be doing some more desert forays here very soon. Maybe even in this episode, we'll see. No promises, though. And uh, this will help with that sort of thing, too. Okay, now, what else do we need? Uh, oh, we need the poison paste to make that, too. Okay, so let's grab the poison paste. And we'll just make ourselves a couple of these, and like I said, I'll make um, a few more of these, too, before it's all said and done. Very good. Okay, we have one more point to spend. There's still several things I uh, on the list. I don't know that there's anything real urgent, though. Um, I do want to get the interior wood stairs, and we have to learn the wall first for that. Uh, let's before we do that though. Let's take a quick look in tier four again. Um, oh, water wheel. Let's get this water wheel because I was watching um, 
There's another YouTuber, and he's he's a buddy of mine. He's in my Discord. His name's Tech Riot, and um, he is also doing a series very similar to mine in that he started in Ring Lake uh, on a zero level character in hard mode. So he's he's doing um, pretty much doing the same thing. Um, and so go check him out if you guys uh, get a chance. And go send, send him a, a like and a subscribe and all that. Tech Riot is his name. I'll try and remember to put a link uh, to his channel in the video and or in the description when I'm editing it later. But anyway, all that to say, um, according to what he was saying, is you can actually set up the water wheels over there at the waterfall and then just run a power line you know, back here to the base and it'll work. I, I was thinking it was too far away, but if it's not... That would be well worth doing because if we can get all of our power automatically from water wheels, we don't even need to run these generators and, you know, they're noisy and they take fuel. Not that they're that big of a deal, but I'd like to try that. Okay, so um, the thing is, though, is I don't think we have... Uh, oh, you know what? We probably do have enough electronics actually to make that. Do we make that in the machine bench? Oh my gosh, that storm is loud. Where do we make the water wheel? In here? Okay, here, let's just look. Why guess when you can look? This is crafted at the fabricator. Okay, yeah. There it is. It's kind of funny because it's using more primitive types of materials, but it's still crafted here. We actually have enough electronics. Copper nails, however. Um, we could, yeah, we can, if we do five of these, that will give us enough copper nails. So the idea here is we'll put one in and we'll see if it actually works. And if it does, you know, then we'll set up a, a whole series of these. And I'll probably still keep the Jennies, but those will be, um, you know, we'll use those for backup, I guess. All right, now uh, we need... 25 resin, 100 wood, and 50 stone. Here's our 100 wood. Here's our 50 stone. And it said 25 resin. Is that in here? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we will check this out and see... Uh, if it works, I, I don't see why it wouldn't. I, am, I was just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I was thinking that that was too far away, but it makes, you know, the more I think about it, it makes sense that it should work. Okay, we're going to need the electricity tool. Let's grab the rest of these. Um, yeah, these can be restacked here. Oh, flour. I want to make some more pastry, which I think we make over here. And let's grab those poison pills. Okay. I want to... Let's see. We have a total of 20. All right. So let's keep one stack of these and split those two. And we'll keep these over here for making the actual pills. I don't know. There's something a little bit weird about poison paste in the implement that you're making your food. That can't be safe, but that's the way it works. So now let's just make a bunch of those, and then we'll turn those into pills later on. Fantastic. Okay, looks like the storm's about finished. So um, let's see here. We want to grab our... Uh, oh, did I just... Oh, dad, gummit. I was going to make this first. No wonder we had enough electronics. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, we need to make six more electronics. I, In my brain, I thought I had already made this, but obviously I didn't. Son of a beech nut. Ooh, okay, well, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to put this back in here for now. And we probably will have enough copper in our drill 
over yonder to to make six more electronics. Let's hope that is the case, because otherwise I'm going to have to go a lot further out to get more copper, a.k.a. the desert, to do that. And I really want to get that made in this episode, and I want to have the modules to take with us when we do our desert foray. Um, oh, here. Let's also have you follow and then just bring him with us. Oh, that's good enough. We just had to get outside the gate is all. Oh, I also ran that water line around underneath the water and around the base. And I just have the, the coupler for it sitting up on the deck outside of the house. It's available to us if we need to hook it up to use something, but I don't currently have it hooked up. All right, let's go get some copper. There's a bear right down there. I swear this rifle is not working. If it starts pulling this shit when I have a scope on it, I'm going to be pissed. Come here. Hey, get away from him. Uh-oh. Reload! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Are we good? Everybody cool? Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should be, an, <coughs> excuse me, enough copper for us to do our thing. All right, let's head on back. Make some electronics. All right, let's see if a Jaguar can catch us when we're in walk mode on Liberty Mutual. If we can't get caught in a sapling, then he will catch us. Okay, he's right with us. I can't tell if he's gaining on us or not. We're not losing him. Oh, did we lose him? I don't know. Okay. Well, he certainly can't can't catch us immediately while we're walking on Liberty Mutual, so that's good to know. There's no way he'll ever catch us when we're running. Unless we get stuck, of course. So that means running out of stamina on Liberty Mutual is not a death sentence by any means. Just walk until you, he gets back and then keep on running. I really like this mount, you guys, for that reason. He just keeps trying to sell me insurance, and, uh, you know, that does get a little irritating after a while, but what can you do? Don't stand in the spikes. Yeah, go around there and get to your trough. There you go. Good boy. Okay, let's go ahead and put... Uh, no, not in there. we got to smelt this stuff. Do I have any extra copper in here? No, just a little one piece of iron ore. Okay, whilst we're waiting on that, let's eat this crispy bacon before it goes bad. And, um... Did I not cue that up? Oh, water! Right, 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 right. You gotta put water in there. There you go. It's amazing how that works. Okay, so let's see. We, also, we have the poison paste in there. Let's grab the tonics and throw all of those in there and we'll just make as many of these as we can make. And that'll last us for a very long time. Fantastic. Are there any more pie in here? There's one more piece of pie. Let's eat that. We have some more stringy meat to cook up and some T-bone. Raw meat we will turn into fat as usual. And let's see, we want to turn these bones into that. 
leather and the fur go in here. We have that. No, not that. That stays with us. Okay, so copper done yet? That's probably enough for us to make the electronics we need. We need gold and gold. Uh-oh. Am I out of gold? This is gonna this is the first time that I've actually run out of gold. Which means we're gonna need to start thinking about getting a drill on a gold deposit then too. Well, I do have raw gold ore that I've been saving for the composite paste, but why don't we why don't we grab two of those and just smelt those up since that's the more immediate need. Okay, so we can make four of those. Let's put those in here. Okay, so we just need yeah, we just need two more electronics and then we're golden. Of course, I don't know what we're gonna need for the mods themselves, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, so yeah, we just need two more refined gold. And there we go. Okay, make two more electronics. Well, yeah, let's make seven more electronics. But we just need two to make this bench. Here we go, advanced alteration bench. Never used this before. I haven't even used it in the multiplayer. Uh, we do have one on the multiplayer, but I myself didn't do anything with it. Um, one of the other guys made it, so... Okay, this is something I think we'll keep upstairs because it's not going to be used all of the time. Can we fit it here? Oh, is this going to require electricity? If it does, I'll bet you it does. Here, you know what we're going to do then? We're not currently using this electric textiles, uh, textiles bit. So let's pick it up. We'll store it. I don't know if we'll ever need it again, but we'll store it. We might need it to actually repair our armor. Uh, in which case we can just put it down, repair it, and then pick it back up. But this is something we're probably going to need to keep down. Yeah, it does require power. 1,500 electricity. Okay, so let's get our wiring tool here. Just tell us what the draw currently is on it. No, it's servicing the refrigerator and the two ceiling lights. Can we also hook this in and still have enough power? Looks like it. All right, cool. So, um, place an item in the slot to access attachments. First thing I want is... Oh, okay, wait a minute. How does this work? Close, sort, device, alteration. Oh, right, that's right, I remember this. Um, they were saying this on the multiplayer. So there's actually two parts to this bench. This is the side that you attach things, and this is the side that you make the mods. Or is it the other way around? Place an item, oh, maybe it's this. All right, hold on a second. S advance, uh, select a recipe. Required elements. Oh, up here. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Now I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, I want a scope. Why can't I click in that field and type scope? To I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so what is this? Advanced scope attachment. Advanced sniper scope attachment. Hunting scope attachment. Will grant lock on one when attached to an item. Small creatures are highlighted. 20% aim speed. Can be attached to. Uh, is that the hunting rifle or the bolt action rifle? I don't know. Will grant scope two when attached to an item. 50 aim speed, 30% zoom while aiming. Oh, nice. We can put that on our bow. 
and both and all of the guns. I think these must just be for the hunting rifle. Sniper scope attachment. Wait, advanced sniper scope attachment. How how do I make the sniper scope attachment? Do I have to have the the tier the the earlier tier bench? Okay, 60% zoom, 35% critical damage. Oh my goodness, we got to get this. 35% damage dealt to hardened points. 35% damage dealt to hardened points. What does that mean? Does that mean armor? Like the armor on the croc? Hardened points. I don't understand what that means. Small creatures are highlighted. 20% aim speed. Okay, so how do we make the the tier or the first tier sniper attachment? And what the hell's wrong with this <laughs> text box? Oh man, you know what? I'll bet you we have to have the the earlier tier bench to make the sniper scope attachment. I want that 35% critical damage, man. That is amazing. Um, okay. Can we... That's reasonably cheap. We'll grant lock on one. Okay. Okay. So, do we like that one better, or do we like this one better? Advanced scope attachment. That gives us 50% aim speed and 30% zoom while aiming. This does not indicate in the description that this zooms at all. What kind of a scope doesn't zoom? Well, I guess if, if it's like a reflex light, but that's not really a scope. Oh, that needs the basic scope. Oh, we can't make any of these, you guys. They all... Except, well, no, we can make this one. Sniper scope, basic scope. This is the only one we can make until we make the earlier level bench. Son of a beech nut? Okay. Um, let's at least make that scope and try it. I mean, whoops, what just happened? Oh, I think I accidentally tabbed out. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. I need a drink of water. Let's make some pie. Um, grab, uh, oh, we don't have very many berries. Enough to make six pie. And for the veggie pie, well, what do we need? We need pumpkin, squash, and soybeans? Or corn, I don't remember which. It's, yep, pumpkin, squash, and soybean. Let's make a bunch of veggie pies, too. Put that stuff back in there. Well, what we're going to do then is... Um, I don't even know if I have that earlier alteration bench learned. I think that's a tier 3 item, isn't it? Here, it's easier to grab this thing. Glass working bench, advanced tactiles bench. Hmm. Is it a tier 2 item? No, it's got to be a tier 3 item. Oh, here it is right here. It's uh, I was looking for it down below. Alteration bench. Yeah, uh, I guess we're going to have to... We're going to have to build this. Because we're going to need to make those prerequisite scopes then to make the better one. That sucks, man. I wish the game wouldn't do that. I wish it would let you make all the, the earlier stuff in the later benches. But it doesn't. 
doesn't do that, unfortunately. Um, okay, well, let's see. We needed two more electronics. We're going to at least make this basic hunting scope or whatever it is that we can make. We needed two titanium. And it, we needed glass, too. I don't remember how many, so let's just grab those four pieces. Hunting scope attachment. Craft. Okay, now. Now we go here. And we put this on here. And then we put this here. I sure hope we can take these back off after we put them on. Okay. Well, that's kind of neat. Makes the sound of us working the tools and stuff to attach it. I like that. Okay, let's just put that stuff in there. You know what? You know what? I think... Is this just... Like the scope... Holder thingy? And not an actual scope? Hunting scope attachment. Sniper scope attachment. Advanced scope attachment. No. That's got to be a scope. So why is it not showing up? It doesn't show up when I zoom and it doesn't visibly show up on my weapon. What am I missing? I mean, it's on there, right? Because it's highlighted and it has like the little icon thingy. I'm so corn-fused. Here, let's go aim at something. About the bird okay so it it is doing the highlight thing or it was let's find um i missed the <laughs> i missed the bridge hey can we aim at fish i'm not gonna waste a bullet on a fish Just allows us to change the ammo. All right, we need to shoot at something. Komodo, you're the next contestant on the scope is right. Okay, so that is highlighting him, but there's no zoom. Wow, that was almost a 5,000 damage crit. Good lord, that's beastly. It was 4,700 and something. Um. Eighteen hundred and ninety crit on him. So all this does is highlight the creature and give us 20% aim speed. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm a, a little bit underwhelmed because <laughs> I wanted an actual scope with crosshairs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I guess that's not what this particular attachment does. While we're out here, let's um, harvest some crops. I think it's about time to do that. And um, we will go try out the water wheel in the morning. Is this is the game doing the little funky thing where it makes my canteens disappear again? Because guess what? I don't have any canteens in my inventory. 
There's no canteens in there. Oh, no. Duh, I put them in here. That's my bad. That is completely my stupid. Stupid dummy stupid. Those only come in stacks of 10. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take those back out and put them in here. Because, yeah, we're just going to do it that way. And we got a flash storm. Yay. We love flash storms. Not. Okay, let's refill that up. And, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to go get my butt fried while I'm harvesting veggies. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to wait for the storm to finish. I'm going to go harvest my vegetables. I'm going to sleep. And in the morning, we will go to the waterfall and we'll set up this, uh, this water wheel. I'm also going to look at some of the other mods. And if there's a couple more we can make here and now, um, we'll do that in the morning too. All right. So, I'll see you guys in manana. All right, guys, it's morning, and uh, so let's see here. I was looking through this, and for Pete's sake, come on, man. Jeez Louise. All right, well, anyway, I was looking through this, <clears throat> and this is really cool because we have, like, filters on the side, too. And there's mods that allow you to, uh, like, for the pick, for example, advanced gold attachment, advanced copper attachment. Nice, and gives you more yield from those particular ores. I love this, man. This is great. Uh, for Kniffies... We're going to do the electroshock. We could either do bleed, poison, or electroshock. And I don't know, electroshock just kind of sounds shocking to me. <laughs> um, so I, I guess we have to assume we're putting some kind of a battery on it and we have a 40% chance to cause electroshock. Plus it adds 5% melee damage to the knif. So we're going to do that first. And then uh, for the bow... I want to do, I, I can't do all, all of these, right, um, until we get the, the earlier bench, but we can do this one. This is a rapid fire attachment. Uh, so we need composites and carbon fiber for that. We already got that, the one thing on the knif. Uh, there's also body armor attachments that we can do. Recovery, grant restorative one. Yeah, once one space and stomach. Oh, really? We could get four buffs going, you guys. That is so good. I didn't I didn't look through all of these. I just looked through some of them. Okay. Tell you what we're going to do for the rest of this episode. We're just going to make the electroshock and the bow thingy. And then um, we'll work on... We'll ultimately, you know, get everything we can on those. That I, I really like that, though. That's awesome. So, let's see. What did we need? We needed some platinum, I think. So let's just grab like a half a stack of platinum. And we needed some carbon fiber, which is going to be over here. So we'll grab a stack of carbon fiber. And we needed some gold ore. So why don't we split this stack. And we'll take 10 gold ore up there. I don't remember what the other thing was. Uh, was it composite thingies? Let's take four of those up. We're going to have to make some more of that stuff, too. All right, so uh, go back to knife attachment. And we'll make the electroshock. This is going to be fun, man. And then for the bow attachment, we wanted the rapid fire. What does that do again? 25% rate of fire, 25% reload speed, and 50% to charge speed. Nice. Okay. So we'll grab that, and then we're making the bow thing. Oh, it's almost done. Can we? Well, I'll tell you, tell you what. Let's go back to the armor thing for a minute. I think that was on the chest, right? Um, Do I have three more electronics. Because that's huge. To get a fourth food buff? That is huge. Uh, what am I looking for? Electronics. Yes, we just have enough. Oh, I need two more composites. I'll have to do some farming off camera and get some more composites. Uh, made up, which we can do. Uh, 
Excellent, man. This is great. I love these mods. <laughs> They're awesome. Okay, so let's pull off our chest piece. Let me go into here. Chest piece, stomach attachment, altar. And we get 10% food effects duration on top of that. Boom, baby. Okay. Now, let's put our Kniffy in. And we want the electroshock attachment. Electroshock. And our bow. Rapid fire attachment. I love it. It's just too bad, like I said, we have to make the, the the earlier bench to get some of the prereqs, but you know, it is what it is. In future playthroughs, I'll probably be making this a lot sooner than I did. But like I said, this is my first time, uh, you know, messing with this. Okay, so that means we have a fourth buff slot for food. Um. <clears throat> So I already have the two pies going and the bacon going, so probably the fish curry would be... <clears throat> well, either that or... Here, let's grab the produce out of here. We could make... I want the roast veggies. Yeah, corn. Let's make some of these because this is going to give us stamina, exposure resistance, and melee damage. So, yeah, let's cook up some of this for our fourth buff. I love it, man. We're going to need to think about replacing this fairly soon. I, I also replaced all of my fuel cans overnight as well, so they're the other ones are filling back up. Okay, so those are still cooking there. All right, let's see. We need to grab... Here, let's turn these bones into epoxy. All the rest of these. Oh, I grabbed another emu. The only reason I did that is because Mama Emu and Baby Emu were in the yard. Mama Emu was kind of giving me a little bit of a nasty look, like I'm going to come over there and use my beak to bite your eye out. So I sent Mama Emu to that uh, Liberty Mutual Heaven in the Sky and captured baby because we have enough food now to where I think we can sustain a backup pet um, so it's in there right now um, taming progress let's put this stuff in here um, man I've got so much crap here you know what we do not need all this fur I wish we could like you know recycle it or scrap it or do something with it but we just don't need it man there's it's we got too much i know we can turn the leather into ropes which i've already done but the fur i don't think we can do anything with the fur beyond just use it to make uh, some armor and a bedroll and that kind of thing okay what are we doing we are gonna grab this and we're gonna put that in the fridge okay now let's eat one of those and we're going to just top off everything. There. Oh, look at that, you guys. We are so buffed up right now. It's amazing. So we have 10% we have, uh, critical damage and experience gain. We have 75 health, 150 stamina, less oxygen water consumption experience gain, so 25% experience gain, 150 health stamina, Less, uh, is, uh, bleep, less stamina consumed by actions, 15% melee damage, health regeneration, 10% experience gain, and then 10% melee resistance and 220. Look at our stamina bar. Look how big the stamina bar is in the center of my screen there. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, let's get to work here. We are going to we're gonna try out this uh, water wheel thingy. 
and uh, see if we can run power all the way back to the base. The the thing that this only does 2,000, whereas the Jennies do 5,000, but still, I mean, it's free, right? So you just use more of them, assuming that this can work. And I wonder, too, it's probably not possible. Well, I don't know if it is or not. Can we can we run all of them on, on one line, or do they have to have their own separate lines? Because that would be kind of weird, considering the distance that we have to run. The other thing is, is, are these cables waterproof? Can we run them under the lake so they're not visible? These are all questions that we need to figure out. That's a silica. Yeah, we haven't really had a problem running out of silica yet. Okay, so it would seem to me like this would be a good place to put them all. Um, seriously, pig? Here, you know what? I have a shocking experience for you. Check this out. Did it shock him? I, if it did, I didn't notice like anything arcing or anything. Hmm. I'd like, I'd like there to be like a little zap effect. I mean, you know, come on, this is a video game. We need that kind of stuff. All right. Anyway, let's um. As long as this is in running water, then it should work, right? So if we. Okay, that seems to be working. Now, can we run the cables under the lake? That's the next question. Ooh, that's looking promising. It's not saying we can't. Uh, where's the house? Okay, the house is north, so we just want to kind of more, more or less face south on the compass just so this stays reasonably straight. I think it's gonna let it, let me do it, you guys. All right, Let's swim north until we get to the end of the line. This is like an undersea power cable. Okay, swim north till we get to the end of the line. Um. I guess if I look up, I can swim backwards. All right, come here, you bastard. Yeah, come back more. There you go. Any more coming after me? It would be really cool if, if we can um, hook all of these into one circuit instead of having to run separate lines for each genie. All right, I think it'll work better if I just face north and go forward. That way I can kind of see when it ends. Bastard, where are you? Well, we're gonna have stuff for fish and chips when this is all said and done. All right, go back to the thing. I like that we can run this underwater. Well, hopefully it's not... What? Hopefully it's not going to short circuit. I don't think that's the original fish that bit me. It was probably this one. You know what we could do, actually? What am I doing? Here, just eat this. Then they can't hurt us at all. We're immune. All right, suck it, piranha. Okay, so let's hook this up and swim north. And we're just gonna keep swimming north-ish. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but you know, straight enough. I don't know why it doesn't let you set the, the junction box down when it's maximum extended you have to back it off a little bit it's just kind of weird but it's all right i guess okay and then let's put let's put that right there and we'll come up the here i have more work to do out here too by the way guys we're gonna make this look really cool 
Just one thing at a time, you know what I mean? One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Okay, um... What we might be able to do is... Here, let's actually go back down here for a minute. I changed my mind on what I was originally going to do. Let's go ahead and run this right up. Here, I'm going to pull that down for a minute so I can see what I'm doing. Let's put it right by the door here. Or maybe even right there. Okay. And then... Can I jump up in here? Yeah, we can. And then what we'll do is just make this like a power socket right here. There. Okay. And, you know, as long as we're not holding the tool, we don't see the highlight of the cable and it's effectively hidden from view and not messing up with our feng shui. Uh, I don't remember what direction that's supposed to be facing, but is that right? E uh, oh, none of these aren't all going the right direction. Shame on me. You should know better than that. We want it to go that way with the arrow facing the left. That's better. Now we have symmetry. We got to have symmetry. Very important. Why? I have no idea. It just is. Kind of an OCD thing. Yeah, I've got plants. This this base is going to look a lot nicer than it currently does. We'll just get to it when we get to it. Here, let's go up here. Can we disconnect that? Okay. It should work. I don't see why not, but let's just confirm that it does. Aha, look at that. Powered up. 1,500. Okay. That only leaves us 500 left. But what what I, what I we'll do is we'll put more water wheels up and we'll see if we can join them to the existing line. Um, I really hope we can because if we can't, then, well, I'm going to be doing a lot of underwater line running. All right, you guys. I think that's enough of an episode for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I had a lot of fun. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to do some more grinding uh, in order to make some more uh, composites because we're very low on, on composites. So we're doing still doing pretty good on carbon fiber. Um, and then the plan, the tentative plan for the next episode is to, I think we're going to go do another desert foray. Um, but I'm going to need to level at least once because... Before we go into the desert, I want to make um, I want to make some of these sustenance enhancement tonics. We get 100 O2 food and water when we consume this, but we also get minus 30 food, water, and oxygen consumption. Water in particular is going to be important for desert travel. Um, so I want to make these and take some of those with us because this can be like our travel rations, if you will. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.